This is almost all etch brass, the boiler firebox assembly on the 61XX and the A2 were made of white metal. This one is made of brass and it has to be formed. This is the actual firebox. It requires a little bit of divergent thinking sometimes to identify the parts. The easiest way of removing them from the parent metal is with a Stanley knife. It, they tend to get a bit sort of mark the blades so you don't necessarily need a brand new one but as always care don't go cutting near your fingers just nick through don't try and press too hard just sort of go through a little bit of it at a time take off what's not required When that's done, clean off any cusps and edges. There will be some. Etch kits are very cunningly designed. That, for instance, is the drawbar. So we have to remove that. Cutting it out always well away from your fingers, and so on. Again, it doesn't matter too much if there's a little bit of a, a mark or a cusp left there. I just try and nick a bit more of it away. But since that won't be seen, it really doesn't matter. What you have to try and take care not to do is distort this brass. Because of the nature of etching, you in fact here have surface detail in the form of these firebox, firebox strapping bands. And what that means is that half the metal has been etched away by ferric chloride. So although where these bands are is the full thickness of the metal and it's really quite well integrated, the other parts are scale, but, but very, very fine indeed. And then nick off any other little bit. Now comes the fun, forming it. In the way that you can have three-dimensional chess, this is a three-dimensional jigsaw. That represents the front of the firebox, that represents the rear. A little bit more cleaning up to do there. And I'm going back to use the device I started forming the A2 smoke deflectors with, again, feeding this through. If you note here, the, that's the shape it should be. So you do have guidance. Whatever you do, don't bend these down at this stage, otherwise you won't be able to get the things in. You're also recommended in the instructions, I did read that far, to drill two holes here for washout plugs. Now this is where I disagree with the instructions because if you drill the holes that really does seriously weaken the metal and you'll find it will crease. I find it easier and I'll show you later to form the metal first before drilling the holes. You can always put a strengthening piece behind that to stop depressing the metal. Make sure it's in parallel, bend it up. A bit at a time. A bit more. 
it has to go to a right angle. You find it should find its own natural angle. I think that's pretty near. You get about four or five goes at bending this before it weakens at a seam line. So you can actually go to there. That's not far off. And then just sort of tease this into position. Again, finger and thumb pressure. Same at the back. Again, I hope you can see that's not far off at all. What you have to do next is bend these back up. Otherwise, you won't be able to do the other side. But it's you've got, as I say, about two, three, four maybe bends before they break off. If they break off, it's a good job Alan Gibson is a first-class chap because he will send you a replacement. And then you do exactly the same for the other side. But that's how you start forming etch brass, fireboxes, and so on. I've made the firebox up in the main, bending, shaping, and began, I've begun the soldering. What I'm going to do now is just finish the last little bit. You can see there that the shape is pretty good. It follows it very, very carefully. But I want to make sure that everything is soldered up nice and true. Now, this is a cheap beach mitre block origins are lost in the midst of time. Um, I don't use it for mitering anything and in fact you can see old scribbles where I've made coaches using it but even though it's cheap it is a true right angle and it's a very very useful adjunct for getting things square. So what I'm going to do is press the work against that square. This part remains flat on this part of the, the beach mitre block and then just gentle pressure. So the two now are in contact and are at right angles to each other using 145 solder. go into that. It hasn't quite taken. No matter, just add more flux. 